Hello, my people. Dello304 here. And I literally just walked in the door with this big ass box. And this is my computer. Sorry, let me just catch my breath for a little bit here. Um, this is my Dell Optiplex GX620. This is almost, well, yeah, almost a week later. So, uh, I'm ready to open it up. Let me just flip the little camera display around so I can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Let's see. Okay, that's good. Let's go ahead and just cut her open. So, I got this on eBay for $60, or 50 yeah, $50. $49.99 free shipping. And it's a uh, Dell Optimus GX620. Uh, most of my people should know about this already. I've posted many updates about it. But uh, I got this to replace my old Dell Dimension. And that's the reason I bought this, like I just said. So, uh, yeah. And it's going to be so much better. It's because it's four years newer. Well, let's see. One, uh, five years newer. Okay, that's cool. But uh, here we go. Just opening up the box here. Packed it good. Oh boy, here we go. More penis. I didn't say penis. <laughs> More peanuts. Still sounds wrong, but okay. Ooh boy. Peanuts up the up the butt. Hey, they did like the little ring here. So uh, yeah, we have a power cord. I really, really don't need this, but whatever. I have a billion of these. So going. Ah. See if I can find the computer and all of this. It's tied together, that's funny. Alright, so let me just see if I can cut open this bad boy. Hell yeah. Ugh. It's a little dirty. I have to clean it, of course. It's eBay. That's how eBay is. Pull it out. Come on. Come on, old buddy. Come out of there. Okay. So, here it is. Right there. It's gonna go like this on my desk, but here it is. Dell. Oh, that's nice. I haven't really looked at it in retrospect. Like, ah! We have a we have a crooked Dell logo. Hold on, let me fix that. There we go. All fixed and ready to go. So uh, let me get the I'll get the computer. We'll get to the computer in a, in a little bit. I'll be just going to go ahead and set it down and move all the box stuff out of the way. But I will show the inside and everything. Ugh, boy. Big ass box. I'm going to have to run down to recycle real quick. But not for this video. Okay, so go ahead and get the computer. And yeah, that goes, opens up this way, I believe. So that's cool. Go ahead and take the camera off the tripod. Go ahead and show you the computer in full depth. Turn on the light, even though it probably doesn't do shiz. But uh, here we go, Dell, right there. You can see it. Uh, Optiplex GX620, right there. It's got a Pentium 4 HT, 2.8 gigahertz. Uh, it's also got, uh, let's see, it's got 512 megabytes of RAM. Not a whole lot. It does have no hard drive, but I bought a hard drive right here for it. Right here. 40 gigabyte SATA. Uh, it is a SATA disk, and I have never had a SATA computer before, so I had to buy it extra. So this really cost me 70 or 50 yeah, $70. But uh, we got a good array of ports, six and six USBs, audio, and all that good stuff. We can get back to that when I'm done. Well, i got to stand the computer up so the thing slides off. There we go. Go ahead and open her up here. Pull this away. And boom, here we are. So we have our CPU fan here, which I need to pull up uh, so I can clean it. But uh, we got two 256 mag. Ugh, that's gross. At least it's dual channel. Um, and then we got the hard drive bay right here. So that's cool. Uh, so let's see if I can take this CPU. Oh, there's screws. So anyway, I guess I'll just, uh, you know, do a new video of it. But um, in there is a bunch of shiz the caps all look really good none of them are bulging or anything 
and uh, yeah, it all looks pretty good. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and in well, I should guess I can install the hard drive on video if I know how to pull this. Oh, well, that's easy. Okay, do I need screws? No, no, I don't. That's very cool. I guess I just slide the hard drive in. I guess it goes this way. Eh. Maybe it goes in one way first. Like I said, I don't know how to. E okay. Yeah, I've never had this computer before, so I really don't know how it's supposed to work. Hold on. Let me put the camera back on the tripod here and flip the display around again. See if I can figure it out. Uh, there we go. That should work. <sighs> Come on. Hmm. I wonder. I don't re honestly don't know how to do this. Uh, let's see. I know it goes in like that. There we go. That's how it's supposed to be. Okay, got it. So let's go ahead and take the camera back off the tripod. Go ahead and shove the hard drive back where it's supposed to go. If I know how to do it. There we go. Okay, so where's the SATA connectors? Of course, they're under the shizzle. Okay, so here's our here's our power. Where's our data? Hmm. That's interesting. Where's the data connection? Oh, wait. Where'd it go? What the f what the f what the what the jizzle? Is this it? I've never had a SATA drive before, so I don't I don't I like I said I have no idea. Uh, what's going on here? There should be a data connection now. Isn't this the power? I'm not entirely sure on that one, but uh, yeah, there should be a data connection on this. Where is it? Is there it? What the? I don't know. I've never had SATA before, so I I don't know. I honestly don't know. Didn't plug that in. I guess this is just power and data in one. I'm not sure. Okay, I guess I'll try it, and then if it don't work, then I'll uh, see if it doesn't work, you know. <laughs> anyway, I gotta fiddle around with this thing, but that is the unboxing of this computer. Hope you enjoyed watching. I'm gonna go ahead and fiddle around with it and see what's going on, so. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll have another video of it up and running, so see you later. It turns out, guys, yes, what I originally thought was correct. I did need one of these data cables. See, I've never had a SATA hard drive before, so I don't know anything about them. I mean, I know, well, a desktop SATA hard drive, I should say that. But I need to put this thing. So then I went, just went, to, uh, I just came back from Radio Shack, bought this for $10. So now to work. So let's go ahead and open up the delay computer. Well, I can't do it with two hands, so hold on. Can't do it without two hands, sorry. But uh, here's the computer again. Yeah, you can see right there, there's the SATA data connection right there, which is nothing connected up to it. This is just the power, so, yeah. So I need to open this up. So I'm going to just go ahead and sit tight right here. You can go ahead and view the insides of my beautiful Dell. There you go. Go ahead and cut this open. Ah. Yeah, this one is 19 inches long, so that's very long, but, uh, oh, well, that's not very long. Okay, I guess it's, it's probably 19 inches, but it's not as long as I thought it was, so. Here it is. So that's cool. I'll go ahead and connect it up. Okay, so here's the L. Line it up with the L on the motherboard. Boom. And here's the other L. Line it up with the L on the disc. Let's see if I can, see if I can do this without taking that. No, I'm going to take the hard drive out. Here we go. Line up the L's. Boom. There we go. Now to work. Okay, now I just need to hide this cable. Eh. There, that'll work. If there's any overheating issues or whatever, I'll fix it. So, there we go. Now we got data. So, now to work. I was like, wasn't detecting the hard drive, and I was like, oh, I was right. I was right. See, I know my Dells, people. I know my Dells. Boom. So, let's go. 
Uh, now I guess we can test it up. I mean, why the why the freak not? I guess I can go ahead and put it on a put it on and then turn it on and then you know, all that good stuff and you guys can be the witness. But I'm not going to edit this video, so please stay tight. Get on the desk, plug all the ports in. Okay, monitor. Plug in. Hang tight, guys. Get all the chisel plugged in. Plug it in, plug it in. Yep. All right. And it's just a perfect fit on my little stand I got for it here. I know you can't see very well. Sorry about that. But here's the Dell computer. And I'll we'll fix it up later. Good and powered on. Nice. I already knew this computer worked. Yeah, I booted it into the BIOS. So let's go ahead and open up the BIOS. Ah, the new Dell setup screen. I was getting tired of that old world looking Dell screen. Which was kind of old looking. See, it's got the nice new BIOS. Let's go down to drives. Uh, it's 40 gig. There it is. 3 gigabits a second, 40 gigabyte. Cool. Okay, I guess now we can go into XP, Windows XP setup. See if I, well, I guess I have to go and set the boot order. Well, let's make sure it's good anyway. Let's see. No, we want to fix this. Uh, onboard set of hard drive. Let's go ahead and let's see. How do I do this? Uh, 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 there. Well, let's see. CD ROM drive is going to be the first one. Onboard SATA. Onboard IDE. Let's make that right there. USB device. Oh, it supports USB booting. Oh, thank God. Love new computers. So, let me go ahead and pop the drive open. I need to clean this thing too. You can see it's got just a little bit of scratching there and everything. Clean it up. Ooh, dirty drive. Microfiber. We'll fix that. Boom. Here we go. So, let's take my Windows XP disk here. Uh, go ahead and shove it in there. Like that. Close it up. Escape. Uh, save and exit. And boom. There we go. It's already XP set up. Well, anyway, I'm not going to continue the video now, but that's the Dell Optiflex GX620. I'll have another video when it's up and running. I had to go put these two clips together, and yeah. So, thanks for watching.